Well, this tournament is pretty special, I think, in a way for me. Um, that was my first, uh, my first ATP win. Uh, practice here when I was 14, 15 years old. So I lived in the city. So there's just so so many things that I can add up to this to this week for me. Um, is I'm excited because in the same time it's one of the last weeks also of the year and it's kind of good to see uh, where you are physically, mentally. So I think just all all around everything adds up to me. But in the same time I'm just you know I'm, I'm just happy. You know every time I come out here I know my way I'm pretty well. So everything seems pretty easy to me here. Do you miss anything in Stockholm in October and no November, the darkness? Well, it's for sure, it's, it's a lot of darkness and I was here actually, once I was here the whole December, so that's pretty rough, but I'm, I adjust very quick to, to any kind of conditions and again, coming out here every time, playing, I always have, you know, my, I don't want to say my hopes up, but I'm always looking forward to play good here, you know, I, I don't want to let myself, you know, being down or playing bad in the same time, so uh, it's good to find that kind of momentum, I think, um, in any type of tournament that you feel that you've done good or you play good. So, you know, I'm looking forward to my first match and hopefully everything goes well. Since a couple of months you're working with a new coach, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, Danny, Danny's, uh, I mean, everyone knows Danny's been, uh, Dan Verdu has been working with, with Berdic, with Andy for a long time. So. Pretty, I think he's, he's super experienced in his uh, in his area. He knows tennis very well, which kind of, you know, obviously helps a lot. Um, but yeah, we're slowly starting to find our rhythm together. It's, it's still pretty new, um, but I think we, we've come a long way since we started working together. Been having quite a few good results, keeping up a good level, and I think this is the primary focus of what we're doing right now: is to stay healthy. And, and try to not only to improve but have pretty much the same results, you know, setting up the bar at some level, but then, you know, try to get better from then on. Before this season, what goal did you have? Oh my God, before the season was, uh, I just wanted to play, just wanted to play well, and I, I didn't have like to have a hopes for myself because I was, I was not playing well, I was not feeling well on the court, so. Um, so yeah, obviously I lost quite a few, quite a few matches. My la my ranking dropped a lot, so I couldn't I couldn't even think to be back in the top 20 by whatever the end of the year. But you know, with a few good results and Danny coming on board, of course, um, we're just slowly starting to work and kind of everything like kind of melted in together. And and now like it's so funny because after a week, you know, of, of doing good, your your goals, your expectations change drastically. And I think this is this is the moment for me to really really appreciate first what is happening with me but in the same time to just you know keep on going the same way without thinking you know what I've done let's say wrong or what I've done good just keep up the same line and I think this this should help me a lot. I hold you as the favorite in the tournament do you do you describe that as gambling or I wouldn't say gambling. I mean, you have, but you have a pretty solid field if you think about it. I mean, some of the unseeded guys like Del Potro, you know, Eastner, one of those big servers. I mean, it's it's pretty, it's pretty massive. You know, if you think about it, I I, I don't want to put myself as one of the favorites because I don't feel I'm in that position right now. Even though, okay, even though I'm, you know, number two seeded, there, there's so many so many guys that, as I said, are unseeded playing good tennis. But of course, I always like my chances. I mean, I've, I've had quite a few good wins lately against very good players. Um, so, of course, I'm always, always going to put myself as that. But, uh, I mean, everyone is competing. Everyone is playing a good, solid tennis. And plus, in the end of the year, everyone wants to get those extra points, those extra wins. And, you know, this tournament is going to be, I think, no different than any others. The, the court is extremely uh, slow, and the balls are getting there's getting yeah. big after four or five games. Yeah. Does it suit you? Or? Uh, I don't mind. I mean, I've never been like a, one of those picky guys with the uh, you know with the surface or the balls. Obviously, the balls is a is a pretty touchy subject, I think, in our area right now. But I mean, I'm I'm pretty okay with everything. Um, you know, you reserve they pretty much resurface the course the court every year. Um, so yeah, the balls after a few games fluff up, so you you just have to adjust. I mean, it's whatever is whatever is for the opponent is the same for you. So it's matter how who how you're gonna manage and what you're gonna do better. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. man. Of course, anytime.